So with this tank here, I'm probably gonna do a lot of hard corals, like a lot of uh, SPS dominated tank is my plan. So when those uh, when that rock's protruding out through that, and they have all those nice sticks growing off it, it's look pretty awesome. And then a nice clean sand bed. And I could put a lot of different maybe like meat corals on there. It'll look really awesome, guys. So I'll bring you guys closer. I'm gonna grab a couple chunks. So we're gonna move a few pieces of the rock around, see how it's all gonna fit. And you want something that looks really pleasing to the eye that's gonna work. And plus, most important, you wanna make sure you have all that flow. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's start placing the rock a bit, see how it's gonna look. And then uh, we're gonna take all the, the components of all these products out to the garage and try to start bonding this all together, let everything set up. And then we can get everything placed in the tank, get the sand in there. And then uh, we'll start making up some RO water, some salt, get that all going, get the cycle going, get the bacteria in there, and get this tank on its way so we can start getting some nice corals in there and learning all about it. All right, so uh, let's head over here. Let's put the rock in and uh, see what we can do. All right, so we're here. So my first piece, what I was thinking, what I want to do is, I'll, like, so I got this overflow area, and I'm thinking about this is where I want to make all the rock come out over top of. So I'm thinking about if we can get this piece set here, this will be our base and attach that, get that right in there. And then I got this really great big piece here that I want to put in. Like that. I think if I can mount that piece, get everything solid. So I have a nice piece that's coming right out, coming towards the tank. So it gives you sort of that 3D effect. There's lots of room underneath, so lots of room for fish, shrimp, everybody to move around. Plus, that's a lot of flow. So I get a tons of power head in there, just moving that around. Keep everything all nice and happy. Get a nice flow for the SPS. It's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna try to bond this together with the Marco 400. Get that placed right in there. And if I want, I could take small pieces and just put some flat pieces around the bottom, certain areas. If we want to put a, you know, end up if we want to put some zoanthids or anything in there, there's a place for them to attach to. But I think this is gonna be pretty cool. And if I want I'll put the overflow too, I could add another piece of Marco's rock. We could attach some corals to that as well, and have the sticks growing off into the tank. But I think this is gonna look pretty good. I just want to, you know, what you, uh, less is more sometimes. You want to make it simple and easy to maintain. And I think this is the way uh, I want to work it. I don't want to go full blown like just crazy, too much rock in there. And you have, when you have too much rock, the water can't flow through it. And you got a lot of dead areas in there. And that's in the detritus and uneaten food. And then you got all your nitrate spikes and everything and phosphates. So this is easy so nothing can really hide. And, and then all the little critters can get in and eat up anything or move around and keep that sand bed all nice and white. And that's where we're going to end up adding the Polyp Lab uh, Genesis in there as well. Get the bacteria moving. And I'll show you guys that in the further episodes coming up. So let's go ahead. Let's take all this rock out uh, to the garage. And we'll start bonding it together. And then uh, we'll wait for that to dry. Get it, everything all placed in there. Get the sand in. It's going to look awesome. So let's go ahead and let's go get started on that, guys. Farmhand. So let's look what's in the bucket of the e Marco 400. So let's open her up. So what you're gonna get in here, this is a, a liquid that you're gonna end up mixing with it. And you're gonna get one stir stick. You're gonna get one bag of the mortar mix. And it's gonna come with, with a set of instructions. So it's pretty easy to follow. So all you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to mix it all together. So I'm not gonna need very much for here, so I'm not gonna use it all. Just gonna put in as much as I think I'm gonna need. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to get the Marco's Rock up here, and then we're going to start bonding it together. So just, okay, guys, so I just got everything all supported up. So let's start bonding this together. <clears throat> One little trick I like to do <clears throat> is get the joints all wet. I find everything here is a lot better. Usually I have a spray bottle, but no spray bottle today. And I'm going to start putting that mortar in there. And like I said, you can just use the wrist motion there just to get it in the joints. You just spread it in through there. This stuff hardens up really, really nicely, guys. What's cool about this stuff, then you can try to like, you can make any design. You don't have to worry about falling apart in your tank. A lot of people use a lot of different uh, ways to do it. Acrylic rods. Different epoxies. But yeah, just work it in there, it'll start settling in. And you just keep working it with your little trowel. 
Little kit comes with everything. I'll probably let this dry and then do the inside after. So just make sure everything's tighten everything up. coming along nicely. Just want to make sure everything's sitting the way I want it to in the tank. I don't want it to dry and it's not going to sit the way I want it. So you just got to play with it a little bit. One thing I like about <clears throat> Marco's Rock, they're not harvested from the ocean so nothing's being harmed. And we can still enjoy the hobby without messing with nature. There we go, so let's let that dry up, and I'm going to do the other side, and then we get it into the tank. Alright friend, yeah, so I let everything dry, we're back. So we end up using uh, the eMarco 400, we just learned how to use, very easy system. So what I did, I had some extra what I did there, and I just made the bottom of this piece of rock nice and flat, so it'll sit on the tank, uh, glass much easier. So you can tell it's pretty much dry. You can see here it's a lot drier than here just by telling like the moisture content. So let me just check it out. It seems pretty solid. So this piece here is going to sit in the back of the tank. And there we go. We got, it, it's going to have that floating edge look going on to it. So let me check it out here. Yeah, this should be just perfect. So it's just one solid piece just like we wanted. And there we go. It's going to sit like that and this piece is going to go out into the tank. And there's lots of great spots here to put a whole bunch of frags and the SPS uh, sticks on there. So I'm pretty happy about that. So all we have to do now is uh, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. We're gonna have to go put it in the Superman tank, get it all fastened into place, and then we can start adding the sand and everything. So let's go ahead, let's go put this in the tank. All right, farmhand. So I got the piece of rock that we uh, bonded together with my E-Marco 400, I placed it in the tank. Um, I got a couple cans just holding it into place. Um, I got some bonding agent. It's on the back here to hold the, the rock to the overflow box so it doesn't tip. So it turned out pretty good. As you guys can see, I'm just I'm gonna take with these cans right now. They're just holding up the aquascape. And uh, then we'll be able to put all the, the put the sand bed down. But it's turned out pretty uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. The design looks pretty cool. Especially with this long piece just coming right out of the tank like that. And then the above shot, you guys can see. So now we have lots of flow areas around here. So I'm just gonna pull these cans out, just cross our fingers. Everything's holding very well. Take this way and hopefully everything will be floating. That's the plan. One more can to go. Perfect. That's it. There we go. So it comes right out and it almost across through the tank. You guys checked that out from both sides, see? So there's even room in behind, so we got some flow as well, and perfect. Come around this side, check her out. So it's almost like a floating island, pretty much, just the rock. It was a little heavy that I couldn't get it completely to come right off the overflow box, but it was worth a shot. So there's the pieces that we, we end up bonding together, so it makes it form like one piece. So it's solid. So all we have to do now is get some sand in here. And uh, the sand I got, I'm reusing it from uh, my Phoenix 700. I can use that sand for a lot of my bills because I have so much of it. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do next. So it looks pretty cool, guys. All right, let me get my sand. All right, gang, so I got the sand here in the bucket. So we're gonna start putting it into the tank. So this is the sand from the 700, so I'll get start placing it. A couple shells, a couple things I'll have to take out after. 
couple pieces here. Take this out. Keep a nice clean sand bed. Probably just gonna go a few inches here. Push underneath the rock. What's good is when you do the oxcape right onto the glass, no critters can get underneath it and over top of the, the rock. Settle. So we'll push some underneath here. Just like that, it's coming along nicely. Few more guys. There, I think that should be almost enough sand. I like sand. A lot of people do. They go, uh, they go bare bottom or a black sand. I like sand. You know, we get a lot of beneficial bacteria that's going to end up growing in there as well. And plus, a lot of your gobies or wrasse and stuff. They like that sand so they can hide. But I'm pretty happy with it. Can't wait to get some nice SPS, uh, some nice like sticks on there. I definitely like that. All right, so that looks like enough sand. All right, farm hands. So we got the aquascape all done. Everything's put together. I'm pretty happy how it all turned out. Um, like we used the Yamarco 400, we bonded all the rocks together to give it that nice ledge effect, like almost like it's floating. So I'm pretty happy about it. I ended up using some uh, JB Well bonding marine bonding uh, formula to use for the back from the rock to the overflow box so it doesn't tip over. Uh, and it's very, very strong. I tested it, it worked out great. And you saw how the cans was holding it up. I just let it sit like that overnight and uh, really solid. Um, so upcoming episodes, we gotta get the water mixed up. Uh, we remember we hooked up the new RO uh, unit from uh, Vertex, awesome system. It is almost 100% complete and we can start making um, all the water and mixing up uh, the DNDH2 ocean salt that we're gonna be using here. And then we can start doing the cycle. I'm gonna add uh, Pulp Lab's uh, Genesis uh, bacteria in there to get the cycle going and just feed that off a little bit of Rod's food just to ghost feed it so the bacteria has something else to feed on. And uh, hopefully it'll end up being a successful build. And can't wait to show you guys going further. A um, couple other things too is uh, if you guys can uh, jump on my website, www.farmboyreef.com. We've got a lot of things going on there as well. And I'm um, randomly going to be picking anyone that subscribes to my channel and that's leaving comments. I'm just going to randomly pick someone to uh, win some prizes. Got a lot of great stuff for you guys. And if you guys sign up for uh, my articles as well, if you head over to my website, you can subscribe to that. And each week I'm going to be doing uh, updates on the tanks and just writing about it and plus there's going to be um, some great information for winning some contests and a lot of product reviews that uh, I'm end up testing on these tanks and the tanks coming forward as well. So we're moving forward guys. I hope you had uh, you enjoyed this episode. I sure know I sure did. So if you guys could please uh, hit that like button below and uh, hit the subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you make sure you get all my notifications. All right. And please, please leave all your comments below. Enjoy talking with you. And if you head over to my website, you guys want to write down, send anything over to me, the address is there and we can go over it all together and uh, do a couple shout outs for y'all. So thanks for tuning in guys. Please subscribe and hit that like button.